Hi, I'm Shannon Gavin Johnson, the director of Legacy Museum on Main, and this is a brief moment in LaGrange's history. Coca-Cola and Christmas are a classic combination. The Jolly Fellow, decked out in a velvety red suit with white fur trim, kicked back after a long Christmas Eve night, enjoying a bottle of the real thing. The Coca-Cola Santa plays a part in almost everyone's Christmas dreams. Coca-Cola helped shape how people around the world envision Santa. Coca-Cola was first created in 1886 by Dr. John S. Pemberton to be served at soda fountains. In 1909, when Mr. George S. Cobb Sr. attended the very first Coca-Cola Bottlers Convention, Coca-Cola had only even been available in bottles for 10 years. Just a few months before that convention, Mr. Cobb had purchased the soft drink bottling franchise for the LaGrange and West Point areas of Georgia and the Lynette area of Alabama. The Coca-Cola company was in its infancy at the time and Mr. Cobb and his brother brother-in-law Columbus Roberts were instrumental in building the local plants into a thriving industry. By 1911, George Cobb had secured a patent on the first coin-operated dispensing machine. What he called the Vendall Nickel Slot Machine kept 12 bottles of Coca-Cola cold and is what spawned the increasingly sophisticated vending machines we see today. Mr. Cobb was not only good at inventing things, but also at advertising. Mr. Cobb started advertising in three newspapers, one of them predominantly for African Americans, and began advertising by giving away playing cards, desk clocks, matches, and other novelties. He was among the first to encourage stores to ice down bottles and sell drinks at less than 40 degrees, introducing the first ice-cold Coca-Cola. In 1916, a new three-story building was erected on Vernon Street to house the bottling enterprises. And in 1940, Coca-Cola Hall, the building that still stands on Broad Street today, was constructed. In 1933, a family could purchase a six-pack of the drink for the first time in LaGrange. The LaGrange area has always ranked high in the nation per capita consumption of Coca-Cola. In 1953, the local plant was bottling around 2,000 cases per day to keep up with demand. And by the early 1980s, West Georgians were drinking nearly 700 Coca-Colas a year. We hope this holiday season, just like Old St. Nick, you'll enjoy an ice-cold Coke and a smile. For more information on industry history in LaGrange, visit Legacy Museum on Main. This has been a brief moment in LaGrange's history.